Hello everyone, this is Joker and welcome to my Formula 1 review. This one is a little bit later than usual, sorry for that. Back to the Formula 1 review of the Circuit de Barcelona de Catalunya. Or just Spanish Grand Prix. We all expected a very, very, very boring race. A procession and, you know, the works. But instead we got an interesting race. Not the result that, that most of us hoped for. And no, that doesn't mean we are all mad that Lewis won. Oh, wait, that was the result already? So yeah, Lewis won from pole position, but he did not have the whole race for his winning. The main problem with that is not that he won, of course, that he walks a little bit further out of the second, taking it away from the, yeah, driver's championship excitement. That was the word I was looking for. The race in itself was not the most spectacular, especially not compared to the few previous ones. But for the race in Catalonia, it was actually exciting. So that was a good thing. Actually, there was just things happening. Uh, strategy, uh, fights. I mean, in the first corner, Max and Lewis had a proper fight for position. At least how much proper you can call it. And with that, I mean, Lewis didn't make it too hard. It was an amazing move by Verstappen though, Bre outbreaking Lewis into the inside of the corner and just taking first place. But Lewis kept the door open, moved aside, although clearly that was because he kind of expected to Max make such a move and well obviously he didn't want to crash. But it was still an amazing move and very interesting and track position is still important in this race. However, I'm not going to go through each in individual uh, fight. So I'm just going to get a few things that I can think of on the top of my head that were basically the things most rememberable of this race. Perez dropping a little bit down again, being caught uh, by Leclerc. And yeah, then the strategy calls. Max driving first and well, getting first into the pits. That was not so much of a problem. Switching from soft to medium. And then quite a few laps later, Lewis followed. And all the while Lewis was driving second behind Max, and I mean literally a second, he could not gain. Even with DRS he could not overtake. Too much of equal pace. But then, I forgot on which lap, Lewis pitted again. Max still in the lead on, well, older medium tires. So you would think track position and still about 25 laps to go, I believe. Could be more. You would think that will be enough. But very soon, it was quite obviously that Lewis, his pace on the newer, fresher tires, same compound, his pace was just too great. Sometimes even two seconds a lap quicker. And yeah, by the time he got up with Max, he had only one roadblock in the way. And that was Bottas. And that was actually an interesting one. There came a radio call. Don't make it too hard on Lewis. One, two, three. Maybe four corners before Lewis actually managed to pass Bottas. I mean, Bottas 
normally adheres to team orders without question but this time oh my he did not make it easy he did not make it hard particularly hard he could make it much more harder apparently but he did not make it easy that was interesting well, kind of spicy to see and then yeah Lewis got up to Max and he passed Max without any problem so it was again an hem ver bot podium. I must say one thing, Ricciardo did a great race this time. I've got where he ended, but compared to the other races, it was a great uh, Yeah, it was a great race for him. But back on the championship title fight, there are only two contenders for it. If you can say it are even two. At this point it's still up for grabs. For Verstappen. But in the long run. Red Bull must really, really make some gambles. And well, not just that. Their strategy needs to be better. I'm not going to pretend that I'm a master genius in Formula 1 or anything, because, you know, I am completely not. However, I do have my opinions, and this will be my opinion part of the race of what Red Bull should have done better. I hear some people say uh, Max should have pitted right after Lewis uh, did and switched to soft. Sure, he could manage those softs uh, the rest of the race. However, I think he should have waited five uh, laps before doing so, then switching to the soft, and at least have 15 laps before the end with doing so. Then he would have a chance of gaining back on Lewis and actually overtaking him. Sure, the, the Lewis, his pace on mediums was incredible. But I do think pitting right on time, giving away track position to Bottas, because that was the whole crux of it, giving away track position, that would have meant it. But I am fully sure Max would have overtaken Bottas with ease, especially on the softs versus used yellow tires and maybe they would have pitted Bottas then as well now they could leave Bottas out and because they left him out Red Bull didn't dare to pit Verstappen and that ultimately cost them the race so they should have pit pitted no, without a doubt they should have pitted for the second time Max Verstappen to go to the new softs or maybe they had soft that's just a few laps out but that went through a heat cycle i don't know but that were the options available and they should have gone for it worst case scenario he would have been second best case scenario he would have been first now he is second so in the end the gamble of staying out and which they already basically knew on forehand would mean he went second. The only good thing to take away from this is that Bottas was never any problem because of track position and it was a sure fire second place. But by pitting, sure Bottas would have been in the way. But I have no doubt that Bottas would have been a pro would not have been a problem. I mean, no offense, but it is Bottas versus Hamil Hamilton, and that fight was nothing. And then, do you really think on fresher, softer tires would be any problem for Max Verstappen? I really doubt it. So. Yeah, I think they went for a surefire second place in the vain hope that the tires of Lewis would drop off 
too quickly, but I believe they still had fi uh, 15 or to 10 rounds left. One at about 10 laps. Not sure when Lewis overtook and it was already sure that Lewis would overtake him. Hungry all over again. But all in all, it was an interesting race, different strategies, not just one stoppers. And that for Spain, for Barcelona, for Catalonia. Usually one of the more boring races with least exciting going on. And for the new viewers, not just for my channel, but for Formula 1. That's because Barcelona is a test track for years. And so they have so much data there that it's the most predictable circuit, at least for teams, there is. And this time, it was kind of unpredictable as much as it can be unpredictable and with the current cars and all that. So I think I'm going to give this race a solid 8. Because it was exciting, at least until the, uh, fi uh, the last 15 laps. And that's the most exciting I've ever seen at the race at Spain. Right, uh, leave your com comments down below. Uh, tell me what you thought of the race. And uh, everybody stay safe. See you all next time. Bye bye.